I, like it's the dry <laughs> day for me. Like, go and just really focus on God, your purpose in life. Don't, no, don't be the person to tell yourself no. Hey y'all, welcome and back no. to my channel. My name is Ebony. I hope you all are blessed and highly favored. Welcome back, my blessed and beautiful people. So right now, I'm in uh, uh, New Jersey. Catch the vibes, catch the vibes. So I actually just missed my train. Oh my God, like I missed, I was supposed to get off on Broadway or something, missed the train, yeah, I've been talking to my auntie. But um, now I'm in an Uber headed to Pamela's house and then um, I'm about to take a nap, get dressed, changed, and then we're gonna head out for brunch. So I'm excited, it's like a quick little trip. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's spray something that smells so freaking good right now. What is that? Let me go, let me go look and see, y'all. This is a spray. Who is this by? Oh, Riri? Riri by Rihanna. It smells so good. It's, my, it's so important to have Christian friends, you guys. Like, they are just so loving and hospitable. And like, look, she even got me some, um, a towel, wash towel, so I can like take a shower and everything, so. Yeah, I'm about to take a quick nap. My lips are chapped, y'all. But um, yeah, another day, another adventure with my um blessed family. Okay, y'all. So we made it to Brownstone Pancake. It's this famous pancake place that is seen on TikTok. And we are here. We're actually even by the water. Can we get the sun? Can we get the sun? Let's get, get, get the angle. Oh, oh. Right. the sun is in my eye. There it goes. That's it. Oh, that lighting is beautiful. It's better. It's so much better. It is. It's like all in my <laughs> But yeah, so we have TikTok spot here. And so we're in line. This is about to be amazing. So I will check in with you guys once we get this food. So delicious. Yes. Thank you so much for this food. How the nurse in our body to love you so much. Amen. Y'all, I'm so freaking about to dig. When you see something that actually comes to life. Yeah, burgers and stuff too. Yeah, unfortunately, the pancakes gotta go. I'm a French toast kind of gal. Yo, Marissa. Hold on, let me get Marissa. I totally agree with you. Repeat yourself. Okay. I said, I feel like I'm kind of eating a Popeye's. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, the Popeye's chicken is so good. It's a little dry. Oh my God. It's a little dry. Like, 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 it's a you it's, yeah, it's a little subpar for me. Like, it's just the pancakes are just dry. Like, it's the dry days for me. I can't, I, y'all, I cannot explain it. It's just dry. Like, That's so funny. It's dry. And even then, like, look, I got this no, here, the French toast. Right. And it's, it's kind of dry, too. So, and I don't even, I'm scared to even try the syrup with it, with, it, with all of this. They need to just put a little bit more milk and a little bit more egg and a little bit more liquid and butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and thank you. I'm currently on my lunch break and I wanted to share with you guys my book that I'm reading and I actually need to pack Ooh. this book. So I'm currently reading Purpose Driven Life by um, Rick Warren. I'm sure you guys probably have seen this book before. Um, it's like all over line. It's like Amazon, one of Amazon's bestseller. But I'm currently on, let me see, what day am I on? I think I'm on day six or seven. I mean, it kind of doesn't matter. You just kind of read it at your own pace. Yeah, I just finished day six, which is life is a temporary, a temporary assignment. 
and I just wanted to read this scripture. It says, Lord, remind me how brief my time on earth will be. Remind me that my days are numbered and that my life is fleeing away. Psalms 39, 4. And you look at that and you're like, wow, that just seems so scary to believe. But to me, it just means that like you need to live each day as if it's your last day. And I just noticed like your life is, this is not like, a life that's like you're almost how can I put this like practice this is not a practice run you know like this is your life this is what you you know the best that you can make it so I definitely say do that and then I wanted to go I need to get my highlighter where's my highlighter oh it's like in my suitcase but um also I liked that it says you are not be in heaven two seconds before you cry out why did i place so much importance on things that were so temporary um and i also like that too because your assignment is temporary and to me it's like you know finding out what your purpose is finding out what your mission is and then things that are irrelevant don't worry about those things like you know let those go and just really focus on god your purpose in life you know your friends and family that love and adore um and just being like you know the best version of yourself that you can be and i also like to say to um another verse it says so we fix our eyes not on what is seen but on what is unseen for the what is seen is temporary but what is unseen is eternal second corinthians 4 18 the world is not my home and I think that's so good too. Question to consider, it says, how should the fact that life on earth is just a temporary assignment change the way I live, I'm live? i living right now? And I think for me, it made me just think like, girl, you need to put the pedal to the metal. Like, pedal, pedal on the gas, you know? Like, come on, sis. So I think that's for me, like what it showed me to do is just like, God has given me so many different opportunity and chances and so many different ideals. Like even last night, you guys, like I've been kind of just transparent moment. Like I've been struggling with um, sleep lately. I've been waking up at like three or four in the morning, just have not been able to get sleep. Um, I feel like God has kind of given me a wake up call like, sis, we got stuff to do. And also bringing in remembrance things in the past that he shared with me. Um, about just like my purpose and the way he feels about me and I've just been kind of feeling like a shaking and in, in me to just get it together and quickly let go of things that do not serve me anymore so hopefully that helps you guys as well and that you guys continue to do things that work for you and um oh, oh. and I oh Oh, it's my friend texting me. Yeah and continue to grow but let's go see what the girls are. I know y'all probably Hey, Marissa. Hey. Who's that? Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> what is who? That's for you. What's going on? I'm going to my channel. Okay. Person, don't, no, don't be the person to tell yourself. And that's what I mm -hmm. kind of like the model that I have like told myself when I moved to Jersey. Like, I'm not going to be the one to tell me no. I'm not going to be the one to talk me out of any opportunity, talk me out of trying something new. I'm going to go for every, with something that I want with everything that I have. And it's gonna to have to be somebody else on the other end to say no, but I'm still gonna, you know, push for that. So that's how I would tell the people. I agree. Yeah.